Hi, welcome to this uh, quick video where I would like to show you how easy it is to configure your uh, Real Presence group series, which can be any group series, and integrate that with uh, an on-premise Skype for Business server. So first of all, you need to read the IP address from the group series. So you see here below left, you see the IP address of the system. And what you need to do is you go in your PC into your web browser and you connect to that IP address. If you have authentication enabled, you enable the authentication, username, password, and then you can enter this web management. So when you want to integrate it with the uh, Sky for Business on-premise server, you first need to double check the security setting. So we go here into the admin, we go to security, and then we go to global security, and then we always check here under encryption, you check if the requires AES encryption is for all calls. The default it says here off, but you can turn it to when available. So if you set that to when available, uh, you set that to when available and you save that, you're all set. That's just the basic setting under the encryption. The next step what you need to do is you go under network, then you go to IP network, and here you find under the SIP settings, you will find the settings to uh, configure the uh, Microsoft Skype for Business on-premise server. So you enable SIP, and here you find all the settings. We save it. So now we enabled SIP on the group series. On the other end, you should have received an email from your administrator which has the a link or Skype for Business account. Uh, so as you see here, I got an account. This can be a user account, but you can use the same account on your group series. But of course, it's easier to just uh, name an account after the room or anything which is uh, nearby. So it's easy to recognize in the Skype for Business uh, client. So what we do is we copy here the uh, link account name, we copy that and we take that here into the settings. So it is enabled, we specify the SIP server. So if you got your uh, network set up ready to find automatically the uh, Skype for Business front end server, you can set this one to auto. In my case, I haven't set up the auto, so I will specify where the front-end server is, Skype for Business server. We leave the transport to uh, auto, uh, usually in the uh, uh, Microsoft Skype for Business server, it will talk TLS, but you can leave that to, uh, to auto. And also the BFCP, prefer TCP, you can all leave that auto. It's just a matter of pasting here your account name, also as a username, you paste it as the account name. Now we need to put in here the front-end server. So let me go back to the email, copy the front-end server right here. Copy. So as a register, we copy the front-end server and optionally, you can do this also for the proxy server, not required. Register type, you set this one to the Microsoft. So this one set to the Microsoft means it will enable the Microsoft features on the group series. Now, before we click on save, we need to add a password. So you click here the password and we put in here the password of this Skype for Business account. Okay. 
you see here registration status is now not specified so as soon as I click on save it should change to not specify to registered yes so now it is registered and you can also find this under the diagnostics and do a double check do the system system status and here you see also a list of all the different features and also the zip register gives a green light so you can also find that under system status in any case don't forget the license uh, so also under admin general settings but I assume when you bought the group series and you know you're gonna use it in a Skype for Business environment don't forget your Skype for Business interoperability license this will enable all the features in the group series audio video content receive on the group series uh, to make sure you got all those features okay so now the group series is added to my Skype for Business on-premise server I'm able to add this one you can see it also on the right lower side you can see the account so we add this account it's here row lower right we add this account now as a buddy to my Skype for Business client so we go back in here I go to my Skype for Business client and what I will do is I will copy the account I had Skype for Business account copy that and I will add that here in my Skype for Business client and what you will see it will be detected including the presence and I can add this as a favorite okay and now you will see it will be added as a favorite in my buddy list so now you're finished you can call to this endpoint so let me do a quick test call a right click start a video call make sure we're muted and here you see me so we're now connected point to point from the group series to my Skype for Business client and you can even go up to higher resolution if you want so now you see you got high resolution full screen and all working smoothly okay so thank you for watching this video and hopefully it was helpful